Welcome back to the Booty Bands More Than Fitness podcast. And today I'm excited to go through the secrets to really conquer your weight loss journey. Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you've been struggling for quite some time and you're finding that it's getting really challenging as the older you get to try to really lose these inches. So in order to reach your goals, let's actually find out what your goals are first. Is your goal weight loss or is it fat loss? Let's find out. So weight loss, you would want to be a certain number on a scale. You want to be light when someone picks you up. You're okay to be that soft, skinny fat. You're okay with less energy, less control, less strength. And you're also okay to lose your curves. Fat loss, or otherwise known as what's called body recomposition, you're looking to be toned, defined, and sculpted. You want to be stronger. You want your clothes to fit better. You want to have more energy, less cellulite, and more control over how your weight or just in general looking and feeling from the inside out. So once you find that, then you start to really dive into what you are doing. Are you following weight loss techniques that obviously don't work for body recomposition because they conflict each other? So one is actually losing muscle and fat, and the other one is keeping as much of your lean muscle and then just burning fat. And so they're very contradictory. One will be eating as little as possible, and the other one will be really focusing on getting more protein into your diet. One will be focusing on just cardio, and the other one will be focusing on resistance training. And so here's why weight loss doesn't work. It's proven to actually slow down your metabolism. If you don't believe me, go check out The Biggest Loser. And it was canceled, not by the fitness trainer, but it was canceled by the contestants. The majority of the contestants were gaining the weight back within 12 months, and if not even more weight than what they started. So the contestants then actually canceled the show, which shows that the typical ways of weight loss is not sustainable. The weight loss industry is an $80 billion industry with very low success rates and has often left women just shrinking themselves physically and emotionally for life. 95% of people are unsuccessful with their weight loss journey and they're gaining the weight back. Why is this? It's because after 30 years of age, males and females are losing on average about three to 5% of their muscle mass every decade. That doesn't count if you're not eating enough protein because we're often dieting, which is making it so we're losing more muscle mass because we're not getting our protein amount in. Also, if we're not sleeping correctly, we are building our lean muscle through our deepest REM sleep. And so if we're not having good sleep, oftentimes we're not getting and building that lean muscle back. Also, if you are doing excessive cardio, excessive cardio can actually be using the energy from your muscle and your fat. So if you've tried in the past of eating less, moving more, and it didn't work, or jumping on the latest trends didn't work, counting calories didn't work, weighing yourself didn't work, and skipping meals didn't work because you're often seeing the outcome of no results, lack of energy, stressed and overwhelmed, confused about nutrition, lost motivation, and just not consistent. So can we reverse it? Absolutely. And what we do here at the Booty Bands and Barbells community is we teach the sustainable way and the fastest way on how you can actually start really cutting through this unwanted fat. When we think of weight loss, as soon as you want to lose, let's say five to 50 pounds, Immediately, what do you do in your mind? You think, okay, I'm going to just start moving more and I'm just going to start eating less. Think about that for a moment. As soon as we go into moving more, we start thinking of cardio. Whereas when we're thinking about eating less, we're just thinking again, eating as little as calories as possible. And what that does is when we start skipping meals and start really missing the protein in our diet, what happens is our body starts to hold on to fat. It goes into what's called energy saving mode. It starts thinking of storing fat because it needs energy in order to function. Your heart, your lungs, everything breathing takes energy. And so your body needs to function. And if it says, okay, you're going to skip meals. Well, the next time you're going to eat, I'm going to go ahead and store it for energy later. Okay. So that's why skipping meals and not just eating less isn't going to work. That's why when you find yourself constantly gaining weight, even though you're 
not eating that much, you're like, how is this possible? All right. How am I not super skinny at this point that I've been skipping breakfast every single day? Why aren't you skinny when you're skipping breakfast? All right. So most women that I'm speaking to, and here's a little secret here I'm going to give you, is that most women that I find that are more on the obese end is because they are skipping meals. They're only thinking of actually eating maybe like once or twice a day. And so then they're just kind of grabbing whatever. But the ones that are actually the most thinnest and the strongest and the curviest or whatever their goals are, the tighter in the waist, they're actually planning out their meals. They're like, okay, I've got three meals and three snacks I'm going to eat today. And that's when I see, that's what I see is the difference. And I speak to so many women as they're coming into the community. And that is the biggest difference. Are you thinking of eating or are you thinking of skipping? Weight loss, you're losing three things, water, fat, and muscle because you're just looking at one number on the scale. And when you're looking at one number on the scale, it doesn't matter where that weight's coming on or falling off from. And most often times I see is that when people are in weight loss, they're, they're losing um, on the protein and they're focusing on also losing weight through that muscle. And that is what's slowing the metabolism down. So let's go to fat loss. So what are we losing? Well, all we're losing is fat. And we're retaining as much muscle as we possibly can. And that's the difference. So when you are saying ever to yourself, I want to lose weight, I want you to immediately change those words and say, no, I want to lose fat. And so often people think, well, I'm just going to lose the fat first, and then I'm going to start gaining muscle. Why would you do that when muscle is what burns your fat for you? Why would you make it harder on yourself? It's way easier to build muscle so it can burn the fat for you. But so many people have it backwards. And I don't want that to be you. Let's go back to what fat loss really is. Fat loss is I, I think about as you are already losing muscle mass as you age. You're already losing 3 to 5% of your muscle mass every decade after the age of 30. And that's if you're lucky. <laughs> Most people aren't eating enough protein in their diet and they're losing way more than 3 to 5%. And I don't want that to be you. So the first thing I want you to think of is protein has to be the staple in every single thing that you're eating. Anytime you put anything into your mouth, is there protein in it? As soon as your mind shifts to that, you're going to start to see the weight coming off, the inches falling off your waist. The weight is no longer going to be an issue as you're focusing on speeding that metabolism and letting the muscle do it for you. Big difference. Big difference. So I'll share with you a really a quick story here about my difference between weight loss versus fat loss. So when I was in my 20s, I was constantly on the treadmill. I was riding my bike to and from work. I was a dance instructor. And I found myself trying to get on that elliptical as often as I possibly could just to burn the calories. When I would eat, I was eating, trying to eat as little as possible, and I wasn't focusing on the macros. I was just focusing on the amount of calories. Therefore, I found myself getting thicker, pudgier. I didn't find myself this tight tone definition that I was trying to look for. And it wasn't until I hired a coach in about my 30s. And um, thousands of dollars later, I give this to you for free right now. He put me on a program where there's protein in every one of my meals and snacks. I had to eat about five, six times a day. And I was like, this is way too much food, coach. This is way too much food. And he goes, don't you dare take it away. I go, oh, my natural instinct is I wanted to eat less. And he goes, nope. And he wouldn't let me eat less. And then he had me doing weight training. I had no idea how much better my body would feel because you got to think of it. Your muscles are holding up your skeletal system. But when your muscles aren't there, your skeletal system is just holding itself up. And that's where you're going to feel a lot more pain. So when you have that muscle in there supporting you, you're going to feel so much better. Your posture is going to look different. Everything is going to start to look different. And so the secrets I give you is that I thought it was my age. I thought it was my genetics. And what I realized was it was just the difference between weight loss versus fat loss. I ended up jumping up on stage, won the trophies for that national qualification of the bikini competitor. Now I teach women that it is so possible. Just get out of that mindset of weighing yourself and thinking of just the number, the pound. 
that pound means nothing. You're, you're slowing your metabolism down when you think of that. So let me know if this helped. If you have any questions, I'm here for you. So come join our free Facebook group called Booty Bands and Barbells. I'll put the link down below. And if you've got a question about what weight loss versus fat loss is and how to really overcome it, we're here for you. The whole community, I'm here and we will um, see your question and support you through that, okay? You also get a free routine when you come into the Booty Bands and Barbells community. So if you're just looking for a routine, and that's what you need, great. Let's go ahead and get you set up on your way. We got a free coaching call that will give you all that, okay? So you have an amazing rest of your day. Let us know if you have any questions. We're here to support you. Bye. So I have really never stuck with anything for more than six months until I found Booty Bands Barbells. It's life-changing. The progress over perfection mindset has been so life-changing. You have self-love and to have self-worth. I just do the 10 minutes and I'm already reaping the benefits. The workouts are fun and that they're effective. This is how I lost over 100 pounds with Booty Bands and Barbells. I have seen great results that I never thought I'd ever see. I love it because I'm keeping the weight off. We help hold each other accountable as they commit to our goals. Booty bands and barbells has really changed my life for the better. I'm positive that you will get more sculpted, more toned, and you're gonna love those new healthy changes and our community and our coaches. From where you're at, no matter where you are or how long you've been in the position. So just click the button below to book the call with our team.